All right, so here's our liner row rings. We've got four different ones here. Um, this one goes here, and they go accordingly, like on the other one there. So put these on. Cat calls for a rubber lubricant, which is essentially a soap. Um, my go-to is still uh, Vaseline on most of this stuff if I don't have the other thing. Um, there's some that will screw up. The, the best I can tell you is whatever the OEM tells you, that's probably what you ought to use. Um, we'll get some of that rubber lube in a second and move these up and show you. Okay, and then the green one goes next. Uh, most of the time there'll be a sheet of paper that comes with your O-rings that will tell you how they go in there. Um, that says coolant on it right there. That particular O-ring. See what this one says. This says oil. Oh, sorry, it's orange next. What's the orange one say on it? It says mid. So that would make sense. This is coolant. This would do both. So they're multi-use O-rings, but you don't want to roll them on whatever you do. You want to make sure that you walk them on. And this one says oil, so it's pretty... Oops, I'm going to put that one in the right place yet. Um, pretty self-explanatory how they go on. Same thing with this one. You don't want to, you want to try and not stretch them anymore than you have to. And make sure they're sitting relaxed. That's why I keep rolling it here. We'll get the lubricant. This one's nice and flat down here. And we'll get ready to install them. All right, again, you can see me doing the second one now. I took and cleaned all the guck out of it. There was a lot of guck on it from the last time. Like on this one, you can see the words need to be facing out. Any markings on them. And you can see I'm rolling it, or not rolling it, I'm walking it on rather than rolling it. If you roll it on, it will cause problems. Um, Again, we're going to look at these again. It has some writing on them somewhere. There it says coolant. Oops. I'll go around a couple times just to make sure that it's not rolled. And this one says mid. So it's going to go in the middle. So that means it does coolant and oil both shouldn't be a lot of oil getting in here, just basically oil splash or from the cooling nozzles. This one says oil. Same thing there. Okay, and we'll go get our lubricant put them in that way. Okay, this is what Cat calls for. It's a rubber lubricant. I'll run this on here to slick them up. I know you guys can't feel it, but it's really slick. Um, they call it basically a, um, a rubber lubricant of some sort, and the, tooling is what they call it. And you have to really look it up to figure out what they're talking about. But John Deere uses this, and it works pretty good. One thing about it is you have to be fairly quick about getting it in there after you get this stuff on. A little bit goes a long ways here. I'll go over and do the cylinder block too. Okay, here's my oh, liner going in. Like I said, I made sure these bores were clean before I did this. I'm gonna check my flatness on my deck, all that type of stuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and push them in. So we can get a block of wood. And a bolt works about the best. Something like this. Let's see how these go in with this stuff. Um, I've used a lot of silicone in my time, so that popped in pretty nice and easy. So I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. Then, before we put the cylinder head on, we'll have to check our liner protrusion and make sure it's right. Miners are installed. 